Hey everyone, here's a recap of the mid-journey office hours from July 31st. They released version 6.1 and it's pretty good. It's on by default so you may have been using it without noticing. It isn't perfect but it is better and more coherent in most cases. David said he really likes the new upscalers. I'm not sure I completely agree with that, but maybe I just don't use them as much. He said they're going to be applying user data to improve 6.1. But that process does add biases, so they're trying to reduce that as much as possible in the future. Like a 6.2 update, which is tentatively scheduled for about a month from now. 6.2 will be the last update for version 6, except for maybe a depth control feature. David said version 7 is moving along, it will have more knowledge, better understanding, and be much faster as well. That sounds kind of crazy because 6.1 is already pretty fast. In fact, 6.1 and 6.2 already have some features that were made for version 7. Like improved text and coherence, they're just getting it to us early. David did say that they might show off the first storytelling stuff sooner than later. He didn't want to say a specific date, but maybe this year, and they might let everyone use it. Basically, it's a storytelling tool and he said he is excited about it. They're working on the describe tool for the website and a new describe for version 7. They might make a zoom in function. Not exactly what you're thinking, but some sort of workaround involving cropping and subtle upscalers. David said they might update in painting on 6.1 because right now some of those extra features revert to the version 6 model. He said they could do a higher resolution as well, but he thinks they should spend more time on version 7 rather than updates for version 6. And David said that the Niji team thinks video is more important than better anime, so that's what they're working on. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It's pretty simple. Paper cut craft illustration of a subject. I use stylized 65 and 150 as well as chaos 2 and sometimes I included neon illuminated in the prompt before illustration. Special thanks to MYSTM1, I found this prompt over on the Mid Journey website. If you want a better look at some of my pictures you can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at Future Tech Pilot. I launched a new advanced course yesterday on color theory and application, check it out in the description below. There's your recap of the Mid Journey office hours, I hope you're doing well, take care and I'll see you next time.